day grade 8 students welcome back to my channel so for today i would like to say congratulations to those who finished the third quarter lessons now i will welcome you all for our fourth quarter topics discussing specifically about biology naranasan mo na bang magtrabaho the whole day without taking any food Food is the basic needs and play an important role in every organism to function well. Without food, you cannot function properly. Which body system is responsible for the digestion of food? Correct? The body system that is responsible for the digestion of food is known as the digestive system. Our learning objectives for this lesson, identify the parts of digestive system, and explain ingestion, digestion, absorption, and elimination. But before that, let us know first these following reminders. Utilize the use of comment section to answer or ask questions, and use appropriate words when chatting in the comment section. The intake of food from different sources and the process that convert food substances into living matter is known as nutrition, specifically known as holozoic nutrition. The human nutrition involves the following processes. The first one, ingestion. Ingestion is the intake of food into the body o ang pagpasok ng pagkain sa ating katawan. Particularly, ito ay nagsisimula sa ating bibig. The second one is digestion. Digestion is the process of mechanical and chemical breakdown whereby large molecules are broken down into smaller molecules that can be absorbed by the body cells. May dalawang klase tayo ng digestion. First one is the mechanical digestion. Mechanical digestion is the breaking down of food into smaller pieces by the process of chewing or mastication. In other words, pagmuya. The other one is the chemical digestion. It is the breaking down of complex molecules into simple, soluble molecules by digestive enzymes. The other process is known as absorption. Absorption is the process in which digested food materials are absorbed by the body cells and used to provide energy. And lastly, it is elimination. Elimination is the passing of digested material out of digestive tract. May dalawang klase tayo ng elimination. Una, tinatawag itong assimilation wherein the chemicals from food are taken into the cells of the body after digestion and absorption. The food is absorbed by the blood and is transported to various parts of the body by blood vessels. The other one is called as excretion, wherein the undigested food must be expelled or eliminated from the body as waste materials. So now, let us discuss the different organs in the digestive system and its role in the digestion of food. Digestion begins in the mouth, which contains the following structures. The teeth break down food into smaller pieces. The tongue is a muscular organ that mixes the food with the saliva and at the same time, it aids in swallowing. It also contains taste buds that enable us to taste the food. Another structure found in the mouth is the salivary glands. It secretes saliva that lubricates food. The saliva likewise contains the enzymes that helps in digestion of carbohydrates. Our mouth consists of six salivary glands that is responsible for secreting saliva. The first one is parotid gland. Parotid gland located on the side of our face o sa gilid ng ating pisngi. The other one is submandibular. 
Submandibular is located on the lower portion of our jaw o yung tinatawag nating panga. And lastly, the sublingual salivary glands which is located sa ilalim ng ating dila. And last part that complete the whole structure of the mouth is what we call palate. Palate forms the roof of the mouth. Food that enters the mouth is lubricated and chewed until it forms into a ball-shaped mass called bolus. The mechanical digestion of food is take place in the mouth. When you swallow, your tongue pushes your food into your throat. Pharynx is a common passage for food and air. It is also the part of the gut that leads from the mouth to the esophagus and to the trachea or known as windpipe. In pharynx, there is known as epiglottis. It is a flap-like cartilage that covers the larynx and no food particles enter the trachea during the swallowing process. The next organ in the digestive system is esophagus. It is a muscular tube through which food passes from the pharynx to the stomach. During the act of swallowing, the bolus is transported by the esophagus into the stomach via wave-like contraction called peristalsis. So this is how peristalsis works. So once the food is entering our esophagus, since esophagus is a muscle, it will contract and it will go back to its original position. The next organ is stomach. Stomach is a muscular, elastic, pear-shaped organ that stores the swallowed food, mixes the food with the digestive juice it produces, and conveys its contents slowly into the small intestine. The partly digested food becomes liquefied, forming chyme, which passes in small amounts into the small intestine. Stomach is responsible for chemical digestion wherein the food is broken down into simpler substances through the help of enzymes and digestive juices. The stomach joins the small intestine through a muscular valve called pyloric sphincter. When this valve contracts, the entrance to the small intestine closes. When it relaxes, the entrance opens allowing food to pass into the small intestine. The valve that separates the esophagus and stomach is known as esophageal sphincter. The next one is the small intestine. Functionally, it is considered as the organ of complete digestion and absorption because it secretes the enzymes that change the food materials into simplest components. It is composed of three parts, duodenum, jejunum, and ilium. Duodenum located on the upper portion nearer to the stomach, jejunum located on the center portion, and ilium is located on the lower portion nearer to the large intestine. Structurally, it is the longest organ of the digestive system, which is about 6 meters long when stretched and approximately 2.5 centimeters in diameter. The other one is large intestine. It is about 1.5 meters long and 5 centimeters in diameter, which temporarily stores fecal materials, absorb vitamins produced by a certain symbiotic bacteria, and reabsorbs water from the undigested residue. Large intestine also known as colon. The large intestine absorbs water from liquid into stool. Peristalsis helps move the stool into your rectum. The rectum is about 8 inches long and basically serves as the warehouse for the undigested residue or feces o yung tinatawag na dumi. At the end of the rectum is the anus or anus that functions as the exit point for fecal materials. 
Bukod sa mga main organs ng digestive system, digestive system composed also of accessory glands or organs that secretes enzymes that aid digestion. The first one is the salivary glands. Salivary glands secrete saliva that contains an enzyme called salivary amylase or thialine which is responsible for the digestion of carbohydrates. The next one is liver and gallbladder. The liver is the largest gland in the body. It produces yellow-green colored liquid called bile from bilirubin. The bile emulsifies the fats and neutralizes the acidity of the chyme that comes from the stomach. The bile is temporarily stored and concentrated in the gallbladder. And lastly, pancreas. Pancreas is connected to the duodenum of the small intestine by means of pancreatic duct. The pancreas produces pancreatic juice, which is a mixture of digestive enzymes. It also secretes insulin, which plays an important role in the control of blood sugar level in the body and the utilization of carbohydrates. Before we have a quiz, let us have a quick recap. Our topic discusses the main processes of the digestive system, digestive tract of human, structures of digestive system, and accessory of digestive glands and organs. So let us have the 3-minute quiz by identifying the parts of the digestive system. So that's all for today's lesson. Thank you grade 8 students. I hope you learned something. If you want more videos, don't forget to comment down the topic that you want me to discuss. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the bell for more updates in our science class. Thank <laughs> you.